Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's What's Up Wednesday. Today, I'm joined by Craig Bailey with the Yale Center for Emotional Intelligence, who's going to be joining today to share details on the Early Childhood Ruler Project. So hi, Craig. Welcome, and thank you so much for joining today. Hello. Happy to be here. Absolutely. All right. So kick us off today just by kind of briefly explaining your role with, with Yale to start us off. Yeah, absolutely. I am an assistant professor in Yale's Child Study Center, and I also direct the early childhood work at the Yale Center for Emotional Intelligence. Uh, my work at the center has me focusing on two things. First, I'm one of the co-developers of Ruler, which is a pre-K through 12 systemic approach to social emotional learning, which I'd love to talk with you more about today. And the other thing I do is research. So our work at the center has a strong evidence base and we work very hard to ensure that what we're asking teachers to do actually works. Specifically though, for my research, I explore what children know about emotion, how they learn it, how teachers are contributing to what children are learning. And I also wanna say um, that even before I had this fancy title at Yale, I used to be a preschool teacher and it really means a lot to me to work with this community, um, um, to be here, to be in it, um, because I'm always looking for ways um, to really come back to the classroom for solutions. Awesome. Yeah, that's a really good background. That's really cool. I didn't know you were a preschool teacher before, so you're yeah. you're in the world. That's awesome. So that's right. <laughs> break it down for us, for those who are completely unaware, myself including, what is this ruler project that we're speaking on today? Yeah, well, Ruler is a unique approach to social and emotional learning. There's lots of programs out there, and many of them are wonderful. Um, but Ruler is unique in that it emphasizes the role that adults play in children's lives and really how much of our emotions and our emotional experience are ignored, minimized, or dismissed. Um, and when we do have emotions, um, people are always wondering, like, what do we do with them? They often are confusing. Sometimes we don't even know what we're feeling. And when we first started doing this work with teachers, we simply handed them lesson plans. Um, and there's many lesson plans that are out there, just like what we used to do. And the first thing that teachers said to us was that they didn't feel ready um, to talk with children about feelings. They didn't feel ready. They didn't feel like they had the skills um, to talk with children and to teach them things like emotion regulation um, and how to work through a lot of the things that they're going through. And so this is why Ruler Today um, begins with the adults. It begins with helping adults with their skills, really the same skills that we want um, children to have. Um, we also focus on adults' well-being as a foundation for what we hope they've been bringing to the classroom. And so if we think of um, the um, importance of adults in children's lives, um, who, are, who is in um, the program then supporting those adults? Um, the importance of the director, things like that. So another way to think about this, though, is that we're, um, think about uh, what we're asking children to do. We're always asking them to use their words. But when it comes mm -hmm. to emotion, um, we're really terrible at providing children <laughs> with the emotion vocabulary we want them to use. I mean, think about this. When was the last time you accurately labeled your feelings with a child or you actually shared with them a time that you were struggling to regulate and you provided them with strategies? As adults, we don't set a good example. And part of it is that as adults, we're still struggling with these, with these same skills and with these same feelings. And what's more is that adults often have, um, myself included, sometimes we have these destructive or toxic ideas about our own emotions that are impacting our own life on a daily basis. These are the things that we're unintentionally teaching children. So ruler disrupts that cycle. And it begins with this idea um, what we call an emotions matter mindset, that our emotions are important. We should um, value them. They should be at the, the center of our lives as human beings. Um, so then we can then um, teach these um, important ideas to um, children. The other thing about Ruler that sets it apart is that it, um, if you think about just implementing a program, a lot of times we, we jump right into implementation and Ruler tries to slow down implementation because we're, we want to focus on the adults. We want to give them the attention that they deserve. And so we often spend an entire year, um, the first year, just focusing on the adults. So the adults feel ready that they feel that they have the skills. And then the second year is where we bring Ruler into the classroom. Um, so Ruler um, is a, um, a social emotional learning program, but it's unique. Um, and there's th um, lots of elements of it that we're really proud of that set it, sets it apart. 
that's super cool. I didn't realize it was a process of the first year for adults and second year for the children. So that, yeah. yeah, that really is cool. So I did see a video on this just kind of to prepare for today. But if anyone does have questions or wants to learn more specifically about the, the project, the ruler project in general, who can they contact or where can they go to if they want to learn more about that or ask questions? Yeah, well, um, I'll quickly say that the um, what we're doing in, in Colorado is somewhat unique. So we have an opportunity that's funded by the U.S. Department of Education to bring ruler to early childhood communities at no cost. Um, so in addition to ass assessing its impact. So again, we want to know not only that ruler works, but we want to know that it's having an impact on teachers because teachers are um, really at the forefront of our work. Absolutely. So uh, things like well-being um, and having the certainty that it's working with teachers, as well as um, what you typically see with research studies. So wanting to know that it works with um, with children. So in terms of um, knowing more um, and reaching out, we have a really easy email address um, and it's connected to our one of our key partners. So um, we're partnering with the University of Denver and local community stakeholders and trainers and coaches. And we have this email address, ruler at du.edu. If you um, want to know more, if you have any questions, if you're hearing everything I'm saying and, and you're thinking to yourself, this is what my program means. Um, I, I've always wanted this or um, maybe I'm not sure. Send us an email and we will connect you with um, someone who would be delighted to talk more with you about that. Awesome. Yeah. And I'll include that in the description or caption of whatever platform you may be watching on uh, after this recording. Is this available for anyone outside of Colorado or is this specific to the state currently? The opportunity is specific to Colorado and we're really okay. focusing on um, the Denver metro area. We're trying to go, um, we're going a little bit further out um, in terms of this opportunity, but um, we work with um, hundreds of schools. Um, I mentioned it was a pre-K to 12. We work yeah. with hundreds of schools um, all over the country at any given moment. And so I have um, some of my projects are in Connecticut, where I work with local um, providers in Connecticut. Um, I also work with family child care providers, which is another um, aspect of this work that's really near and dear to my heart. Um, but I have colleagues that work with high schools in Los Angeles and um, or uh, um, we just had a, um, a lot of interest in Utah. Um, so in your neck of the woods. So there's, um, we're, we're really all over the United States and um, I can give many different examples of what this <laughs> looks like, um, depending on the location. Sure. Yeah, I know we've just kind of scratched the surface with all things involving early childhood, especially with this project, but we'll kind of wrap up here, but feel free to share any kind of final thoughts, updates or feedback regarding the project in general, your experience as being a preschool teacher for the other teachers kind of watching or just to the EC industry in general watching today. Yeah, well, I just want to start off by saying, um, or, or I guess ending here that um, whenever I talk with providers and, and directors and teachers, it's very clear that, I mean, we're in a crisis right now and yet there's still children in our care. Um, so both these things are happening at the same time. We're still taking care of children. We're still trying to give them the highest quality care. Um, and I really hear that social emotional learning um, and well-being are more important than they ever have been. Um, and so what Ruler is trying to do is it's really trying to use the power of emotions um, to really help us be uh, our best selves as educators and to really um, raise children in the compassionate way that we've always um, hoped for. Um, and so I really hope that um, people uh, consider this as an opportunity. Um, and I look forward to working with many of you across the state. Yeah, we'll see what happens down the road. Anything's always possible in this industry, as we all know. <laughs> of course, of course. Awesome. Thank you so, so much, Craig, for your time today. We'll see everyone next time. Bye. My pleasure. Thank you.